So good to see you again. Thank How you very you? much. I'm doing awesome. How yeah. are you doing? It's great to see you. It's great to see you, and I think we're both good. Uh, you went through such a crazy experience. And you had this. Uh, I was I was going to get to this in a minute, but I might as well address it right away. You had a you had a brain hemorrhage right. a while back, and uh, you recovered from it, and you're doing great. I was just curious. I, I you know you hear about something that's so dramatic. Right. Paint that picture. What were you, when you had the brain hemorrhage, were you, where were you? What were you doing? Were you out in the world? Were you walking? Were you, how did it all happen? It was, uh, I was sitting on my couch. I wish it was a much more dramatic story than that, right? Right. I was sitting on my couch. My daughters had just went to sleep, and I'm a sports fanatic. I'm watching the MLB channel. This is in April, so baseball's just kicking up and right. all that stuff. And uh, they were having a little break on the MLB, and I switched over through channels, and I, this is no lie, I was watching uh, Busty Cops 3 to protect and serve had come on and uh, I it was one of the channels I'd happened to surf through sure, true story sure. I'm not lying. and you paused there I paused for a second for a commercial break and then uh, no no no, then, no 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 so, no 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 you paused so, you were watching Major League Baseball and then so, you switched over and let's just say there's some porn on and you stopped there for a second yes accidentally yeah and and so it uh, we stopped there and that's one of the last visions I had was an awful awful soft core uh, something and that's when it happened seriously in, in between there and MLB something went awry and that it was uh, It was yes. It was horrific. Oh my god. I hope you switch back before the you know, the EMTs no, come and that's on you know That was my only concern They're working I was going on you like hey uh, <laughs> uh, well, well, well you recovered uh, thank yes. God for that you're doing thank great god. and now you've got this show and uh, This actually comes from a place of passion for you real passion because yes. I'm told RVing is something that you were feel very strongly about. You grew up RVing, is I, that right? I did. Both sides of my family, my mom and dad's side, that's all we did. We went, you know, we take the RVs out, we go camping, we go fishing and do all that. And it's funny that is is one of the things I loved. I have this travel in Jones. I love being out on the open road. And I always tell people this, if you really want to get to know the character of a person, go on a road trip with them, especially an RV trip, and you will either love them and bond for life, or you will never speak together, speak to each other again, ever. Right, and, because uh, when you're on the road with somebody, uh, it, it amps everything up, I would say, I would say 15 uh, times. Yeah. 15 times, and it's the, the, the journey's within the journey. It's not just the destination. I mean, pulling over, doing stuff, having to go through everything of RVing, I happen to love it, but it is it has truly been in, in taking that as my passion as a as a child and and taking it into my and professional then, yeah, life. Your professional life. I'm thinking you're starting out your early days, poison. You're on right. the road. I'm gonna. Were you you must have had van days before you graduated to bus tour, tour buses. Right? Vans would have been an upgrade. Yes, we had we had uh, we went from beat up cars to uh, uh, an old ambulance van, and then eventually we got to the mini Winnie uh, Winnebago RV. Right, which was big doings. That was highfalutin. Right. You know what I mean? If and you'd go from to show to show in an RV. Everywhere, driving everywhere around this country, just trying to, you know, not only was it an adventure, but trying to play music. And Poison is one of the only bands, we were one of the first bands uh, to have an independent record uh, that broke the million sales mark. It was an right. independent record, and my, I remember being out on the road doing that, and the next thing you know, we finally got to a real tour bus and a real, uh, a real motor coach. Now, what was the most decadent tour bus you had? You must have got, when, you, when the money started to come in, I bet right. you guys went and got a crazy tour bus. Yeah, we moved up to our first tour bus, and naturally the first thing you want to get is you want to put the uh, jacuzzi hot tub, the stripper poles, and all the stuff that you have to, you know, the bar. Now, I like naturally stripper pole has to go. No! <laughs> yes. Nobody here went, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> they all stripper, did. They all no, they agreed. didn't. They were watching them. They were just like, stripper pole, I mean, I would be thinking like, oh, you'd have like a bar or something like that, but stripper pole, how do you have, are there strippers there in the bus? No, you, your hope is that there's going to be, that's what's going to happen. Ah, young, it's like young. you put out the birdhouse and maybe the birds come. <laughs> It's the birdhouse birds yeah. come here. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. That what was... you doing? Putting out the stripper pole. <laughs> Let's wait and see what shows up. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't function very well. Yeah. So we, uh, they, they, they quickly got rid of that. None of the birds came. So right. we uh, <laughs> quickly got rid of the uh, bird cage. And you just and got something more sensible. We got a bar, which uh, I was positive that none of the glass that you put up in there while you were moving would move when you stopped. That didn't pan out well, so I have a quick learning curve. And uh, I've learned to build much, much more functional and fun RVs since then.